Hey, hey, everybody! This is Larry. This is me trying to do a bonus question. So let's uh, let's do one that I haven't done before.、Um, oh, I, I thought I could like multi-select. Hmm, that's a little bit awkward, actually. Yeah, why? Hmm, because I want to do medium or hard. But、uh, let's do a hard one then, and let's do a to-do because we don't want to do one that I've done before. And let's choose a random question. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> this is me doing a bonus question I haven't done before. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Especially if you came from today's farm where it was a little easier.、Uh, and let me know what you think. Today's bonus question is eight three thirty nine. Oh yeah, it's August fifteen in、uh, something like that, twenty twenty two. If you want to keep track on these things, today's bonus question is eight thirty nine. Similar string groups. Two string x and y are similar. Do we swap two letters of x so that it goes y? Okay. Two strings x and y are similar if they're equal. Say what? Oh, okay. They、uh, they should put similar in quotes or something like that. Uh, because if they're gonna overload the term, it's a little confusing.、But、anyway, so tars and rats are similar. Rats and arts are, are similar, but star is not similar to this because it doesn't swap in two. Okay. Together, these form two connected groups. Okay. And the same group, even though they're not similar. Okay. Formally, each group is such that a word is in the group if it is similar to at least one other word in a group. Okay. I think this is just union fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, well, it's it's connected components to be more precise, and with, and connected components you can do with union fine. Uh, but you may not even need to. You may just do a def first search, you know, connected type thing. Yeah, def first search, bref first search, whichever search you like.、Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know that there are crazy ways about it. Then the question is, do I pre-process or not?、Um, So let me think about this, right? So, what does it mean for two words to be similar? Do they all have the same? Okay, so they, I I wasn't sure whether they're all anagrams. So we don't. So then we don't have to check for stuff. It just means that if you look at it, character, because otherwise you have to. What I was thinking about is like brute force saying, okay, swapping two characters and then see if they, you know, kind of match up, right? But if they're all anagrams, we could stop that move because then now we know that two words are similar if. Um, if you、um, if they differ in zero places or two places, I'm trying to think about if you can differ in only one place. I think you cannot. I mean, yeah, I don't think you can just because you know that that is is just uh, uh, not possible.、Um, I was thinking about maybe there's some like duplicate use of characters and and that may be it a thing. But、uh, but yeah, three hundred will make it so that you know there's three hundred choose two pairs, which is what ninety thousand over two, so like forty five thousand, forty five thousand pairs each times three hundred. Uh, so that's actually kind of big, right? Forty five hundred. Oh no,、uh, maybe not. I guess that's one point three million. So I think that's okay to just be naive about it. So let's get, let's get started. So um, so we have. Done is equal to force times n. We have n is equal to length of strings. And again, this is just regular connected components.、Um, I'm going to do it recursively because I feel like I haven't done it recursively in a while.、Uh, and you, because usually I do a breath first search these days.、Uh, when I was younger, I used to do more depth first search, but but I think depending on the problem constraints, it's been more and more expensive. So、eh, I don't know. It is what it is.、Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so that we、um, go、uh, to index, and then yeah,、um, and then this is just regular.、Um, yeah. So for,、um, I want to sit like this, but maybe that's fine. If not done of I, because you could speed it up if you like, you know. Uh, uh, keep track of it somehow, 
uh, in a straightforward way or like going for a list or something like that. But maybe that's fine. If not done, then done sub i is equal to true, go i, right? Of course, you have to do an additional check, but, but that's basically the idea. Um, yeah. And then you, we will write a for loop that basically just kicks it off. If not done sub i, then we have, you know, count equal to zero, increment by one for one group, it's true, go of i, and then that's it. So that's basically connected, counting the number of connected components. We have to add a thing about check uh, possible, and that's pretty much it, really. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We just have to add the check possible. So let's see, right? So for, mm, I don't know, just a, b, and in sip of strings of index and strings of i, maybe that's a little bit confusing, actually, to be honest. Um, delta is equal to zero. If a is not equal to b, delta increment one. If delta is greater than two, we break. Um, yeah, I think that should be okay. So if if we don't break, then we do this. And I think that's maybe it. Let me kick it off real quickly. Unless I misunderstood something. Okay, that looks okay. So let's give it a quick submit. Maybe I made a silly mistake somewhere, but now it seems okay. Faster than 99%. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... Whew. I mean, this is going to be quadratic time because that's the number of edges. So, um, yeah. But each no so each node can be processed once, meaning that you are going to call this function at most once per node, and each one of these will take O of n. So, uh, and the reason why we can guarantee that it only happens once is because of this done operation, right? So that we only execute when it's not done, etc. So that's invariant. So this only happens once, and every time it, ha it happens, it wants an O of n time. So this is going to be n squared time uh, in terms of space. We, this is the only thing we use, pretty much. I mean, okay, there's some constants here and there. So, so, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Quadratic time, linear space, and yeah. Um, hmm. I don't really have much more to add on this one, so that's it. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.